W4 Alpha Whiskey Mike. Alpha Whiskey Mike. It's over. Alpha Whiskey Mike, Roger. What's the name there? Alpha Whiskey Mike, Roger. What's the name there? Uh, Roger, hi there, John Jacobo, how man, John Sam. Uh, we're located in Virginia, about uh, 10 miles south of uh, Washington, D.C., over. Roger, John, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, John, and what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, this will blow your mind. It's an old break, TR7 Alpha, over. TR7 Alpha, is that a Roger? TR7 Alpha, is that a Roger? That is Roger, over. Roger, Roger, John. Now, you do have a little distortion. Uh, I'm making allowances for that being about a, what, about a 50-year-old radio? Being about a, what, about a 50-year-old radio? Uh, but that is correct. I'll back off mic that. i tell you, are you running a gate in your audio into that uh, unit? A gate in your audio into that uh, unit? Uh, negative. I'm just using a straight mic. I just backed out on the audio gate a little bit. Oh. Roger, there's something in your audio that keeps cutting off at the end of the word. I'm not real sure. How about your amplifier? Uh, could that be cutting off early for some reason? Uh, could that be cutting off early for some reason? Uh, negative, we were using push to talk. That's probably why. Or uh, rather, a uh, box. Using box, that was probably why, but now I'm using push to talk over. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Use the push to talk. Uh, that's uh, a lot cleaner. Your Vox was uh, was uh, messing up. Now, uh, uh, do you want to try to uh, set up that uh, TR7? Uh, uh, it does have uh, some controls. It's got a. Does it have a light for the ALC, or how does that go? Light for the ALC, or how does that go? Uh, yeah. Well, it's got a light uh, when you when you're kicking a modulation too hard. Uh, it lights up over. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, I'd say increase your audio just a little bit, and let's see that light come on just a little more often, Roger. See that light come on just a little more often, Roger. Okay, well, I don't like to have it come on too often, because that means I'm really uh, getting into this thing. Uh, we're running barefoot, we're going to watch the play, but over. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, that radio does not have a compressor co uh, processor, uh, Roger. Compressor co uh, processor, uh, Roger. Uh, Roger, that is correct. It has a, there is an outboard processor, but I don't have it hooked up right now, over. Uh, Roger that, Roger that. Well, it sounds pretty good. I know it, it also does not have uh, onboard EQ. Is that a Roger? also does not have uh, onboard EQ. Is that a Roger? Uh, that is Roger. Well, I, I tell you what, John, why don't you give me about 10 or 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system. Let me look around and uh, see if I can find a better copy for you, Roger. And uh, see if I can find a better copy for you, Roger. Okay, very fine. Uh, the antenna is about 10 feet above the ground, and we're getting pretty good results with it. I uh, worked uh, quite a bit of ZX this morning on 10 meters over. Yes, yeah, so I've got you on my local antenna about uh, 10 over. Uh, the thing is, uh, your audio is kind of peaky. And uh, if, uh, if you have any room left over uh, as far as that light's concerned, I'd appreciate it. I think you would sound a little bit better with a little more audio and let your ALC circuit uh, kind of uh, compress your audio or limit your audio and fatten your audio as opposed to having such wide uh, uh, excursions in your uh, amplitude levels in your audio. Roger? Uh, Roger, I uh, upped the gain just a little bit so the uh, light is coming on all the time. How's that? Is that any better? Over. Well, amazingly, you don't, do not have any distortion, and uh, you still have uh, uh, quite a bit of swing in your audio. So uh, maybe, uh, you know, come down. What were you before you w went max? That sounds pretty good. Uh, I missed your question. I missed your question, over. Yes, sir. What, uh, what was your level before you went max out? Uh, well, it was, it was uh, not coming on at all. And uh, now it's on virtually all the time, over. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, what I was saying is uh, on your mic level, did you go from like uh, 3 o'clock to uh, 6 o'clock or something like that on your mic level? No, from uh, uh, about uh, 945. Uh, uh, I'm from about uh, 
let's see, about uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm having trouble virtualizing that to the clock. I went from uh, about uh, 20 minutes to half a quarter of over. Yeah, so it sounds pretty good to me. Uh, you know, I would run it so much like that. You you came up uh, quite a bit gangbusters level, you know. Almost uh, doubled your perceived level, Roger. Almost uh, doubled your perceived level, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, I'm not using the normal mic that I uh, normally use. I usually use an R444, but uh, the connector broke on it. And uh, I can't solder too well at 85 years old over. Yes, sir. Well, uh, it sounded really good. Now, I would get the uh, the uh, Gorilla Tape out and taper down. Roger, Roger. The uh, Gorilla Tape out and taper down. Roger, Roger. Well, I just uh, I just uh, hold, a, hold a button in and uh, go for the best. Over. Yes, sir. Now, you might be slightly high in frequency. I know those uh, TR7 uh, uh, units do tend to wander. That whole Drake series... Uh, tends to wander from time often, but uh, you are just, just a little bit high on frequency, just a tad. You are just, just a little bit high on frequency, just a tad. Uh, well, my indicated frequency is 7187.9, over. Yes, sir, frequency is 7188. If you uh, want to dial that, uh, you might be dead on. It's frequency that we're on is 7188. Roger, roger. 7188. Roger, roger. Okay, I'm on 7188 right now. Oh, sounds better, sir. You're really close. Just almost dead on. So I, I would uh, trust my uh, uh, my freak counter. Roger, roger. Trust my uh, uh, my freak counter. Roger, roger. Okay, well, uh, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. So. Uh, for a radio this uh, Yeah, well, let's see. Uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Uh, Roger, thank you very much for the Yes, sir. I think you'll uh, find the recording interesting, uh, but like I say, particularly for a radio of, of that vintage. Now, you know, keep in mind that uh, uh, you can always get uh, some outboard gear uh, to, to go right in that mic input, and uh, that radio will uh, just uh, be, uh, along with that freak counter that you have, uh, you're, you know, if you had uh, outboard gear for EQ and compression, that radio would be just as... Uh, as uh, sound perfect as uh, any radio going, Roger. As sound perfect as uh, any radio going, Roger. Uh, Roger, fine. Uh, well, I, I do have the Drake uh, uh, compressor, the SP75. Uh, SP75, but I don't have it hooked up right now. Over. Yes, sir. I would. I would not use that. I would go to more modern. Uh, uh, state of uh, equipment that has uh, EQ on it and uh, c compression. Uh, Roger, Roger. EQ on it and uh, compression. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, well, we, we got a, whole, a bunch of old stuff around here, and uh, some of this new uh, digital stuff is beyond me. So uh, we just uh, say, well, what we got over. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, this is sounding really good. I would get the Gorilla Tape out and taper down. Roger, Roger. Sounding really good. I would get the Gorilla Tape out and taper down. Roger, Roger. Uh, roger. Thank you very much, Albert. Yes, sir. 73 up that way, John. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And if you get a chance to join us uh, next Friday, we'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon. Uh, QSO Vlognet. Uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.